Hello, my beautiful people. How's it going? Exciting video for myself. I hope it is exciting for you guys as well. Today we get to count up all the money that I have managed to put away, whether it be in saving challenges, um, sinking funds, cash envelopes, or maybe not the cash envelopes, but all the money that I have available to me. So if I'm in a pinch and I have to put it all together into one lump sum, this is how much I would have. So, hi, my name is Michelle. I always forget. I love doing intros, but I also ramble, so I get conscious about it. Um, but I live in Western Australia. I have my husband and my one-year-old son. Um, he's about, actually, he's 20, 20, 20 months now, so he is growing up. My baby is no longer my baby. He is growing up a little bit. Um, and yeah, this is my journey to get my family financial stability. We made a goal for ourselves uh, to get to 22,000 for the year 2022. There was no rhyme or reason as to why I picked 22,000. Um, it just, it just seemed 22, 22, you know, I didn't have any other reason. It was just numbers. And before we ramble on anymore, I'll get counting. Um, I hope everyone has been looking after themselves. Um, it's cold here in Australia. Western Australia is no exception. Uh, even though we're meant to be the sunny state, it, it's cold here. And um, so, yes, as much as we've got COVID going around, we also just have the standard cold and flus, which I think I've got, which is a cold. Uh, my son has hand, foot and mouth, which he got from daycare. So... <laughs> Uh, it has been a roller coaster, but you know what? We will strive through. All right, so Mr. T surgery got one, two, one twin, uh, sorry, 220, 240, 250. I hope everyone caught my um, cash stuffing video, the last one. Um, it was so good coming back into it, but I actually, I must admit, I felt like out of routine a little bit. Uh, it did get a bit long, I think, that video, but you know what? Sometimes it happens. Sometimes we have short videos. Sometimes we have long ones. It just depends on the day, right? Christmas, we've got 50, 60, 65, 70, 75. Um, some of these would not have jumped much because we did take a budgeting break for just over two weeks. 20, 40, 60, that's because we was getting a lesser pay. Uh, we had to take some time off from work. And so we were just putting all that money into the bills buffer just to make sure that nothing bounces. It's, you know, and if we needed the money, we knew where to pull the money from. All right, what did I say it was in here? See, I'm losing count 60. Land rates. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20. Car registration. It's called 20 and 10. So 30. why i started off with this binder it just seemed the logical one to do so i've got 30 there in black friday and boxing day has 210 so that's 20. father's day has got 20 and 10 30. Like I said, eh, okay, what did I say? <laughs> 30. Celebration. 
This is for my son's birthday party in October. 50, 60, 70, 80. Any ideas what I should do for a two year old's birthday party? I am tossing between just inviting a few friends at a play center at this stage uh, because I was going to take a cake anywhere to his daycare center. Um, they normally do something um, for the little ones, but I was just thinking for family friends because I'm, I'm, I'm not going to invite anyone from daycare because he's not at that age where he wants his friends around. <laughs> um, so, and all my friends have children and some of them are around his age. So I'm just thinking, you know, just have something at the play center, but it's just, I know it's October, but you know what? It'll just creep up. Can you believe it? We're in July. We're pretty much in July. Half the year is gone. Where has it gone? Where has the time gone? And I think as a mom, I feel that time flies even faster. I could be wrong. All right, the momcation, I only put 20 in. Uh, and vacation for the family, I've got 50, 60, 70. There's nothing in overseas. Uh, nothing for passports, nothing for Easter, nothing for Mother's Day. All right, so that binder is done. Maybe that's why I started that binder, because it's like lesser to come. All right. <laughs> let's, just, let's see if I can breeze through this, right? We could try. Oh, I missed one. Self-care. That was in this binder, wasn't it? Oh no, that's in my savings binder for some reason. All right, all right. All right, Mr. T Fund, how much do you have? You only have a 10 at this stage. We'll build that, that, we'll build that back up soon. Boy's haircut is 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. Dining and takeouts has got 15. If anyone's interested, like if you have to buy a gift for someone and you're, you choose gift cards, may I make a recommendation to buy someone an Uber Eats gift card? While uh, my family was in isolation, my church gave us a $50 gift card for Uber Eats. Oh Lord, that was the best gift card I've ever received. It was useful, something the whole family can use. And you know, if and if you're not if you know the family is not in the habit of treating themselves, it, it's great. I think Uber Eats gift card. Car maintenance is 20. For me, of course, I love a Kmart gift card. Give me a Kmart gift card any day. Um actually <laughs> I won a giveaway from Belladonna on Instagram and she was so kind she reached out to me and asked me what gift card would I prefer I mean that was just amazing you know and she she's all the way in Canada and she managed to get me a Kmart gift card here in Australia and it was emailed to me I received it can't wait to use it um, 100 150 60 70 80 for car. This is car tires. Okay, home. It's got 10, 20, 30, 35. Arts and crafts. It's got 10, 20, 30. Oh, shoot. Now the pharmacy has got 25. Beauty. 10, 20, 30, 
hairdresser is 10. That's because I have to build that back up again. Activities. What have I got in activities? 10, 20, 30, 40. Uh, where did that go? Activities, 40. Gifts is sitting at 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 45. So 145. Clothes and miscellaneous, I've got 10, 20, 30, and 5. Costco, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. Fit life, 20, 40, 50, 55. And music, I got 10, 20, and a 5. So 25. And music, bodybuilding has got 50, 60, 70, and 5. 75. Swimming is just 20. And that's the next binder done. All right. Let's hit this binder. All right. So the zero out challenge, I am sitting at 66.33. Tuesday, I'm sitting at 177.05. All right, so I don't need to count those two envelopes. Bills buffer, I'm sitting at 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Emergency, so this one I'm going to tug to get to 1,000 as per my challenge. It's got 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60. So 360. Haha, <laughs> this is my favorite envelope because I have actually achieved my target goal, which was $1,000. So we can still count it anyway. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that is one thousand dollars. So I plan to do a cash exchange and get that into the bank. Uh, I'm thinking of putting a placeholder in here because you know how you know they, when you're starting this, they say to try and get to your first one thousand. That was this one for me. Self care. So I have 300 from the previous challenge, and then this one I've got 40 here. So 340. Guitar. So this is my husband's guitar. I reckon next month this will be gone. So I kind of don't want to count it, but. This is money we put aside anyway for this month of June. So I'm going to count it anyway, but it will be gone next month. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's 1,000, 1,100. Sorry if I called and I blocked those. So I really don't know how I sound. I probably only will know once I have reviewed it again. Right? watched it again uh 1100 one month ahead this i've just started 
uh, the goal is to use this as getting one month ahead of bills, mortgage, that kind of a thing. Uh, it's got 15. In fact, that is not even on this because I wanted to only start that with this aggressive save finish, but I finished it, so I'll have to... Where do I put this? You know what? I'll change this one of these because there's no money in this anyway. And that will be 50. Okay, so the 2K challenge. So this is going to become my new... I am taught. I am thinking that this will become part of my SOS fund or use this to fund one of the other sinking funds. I don't know. I don't know. I have to think. 200, 220, 240, 260, 270. Okay, so this is the winter challenge. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. Alright, so seasonal is sitting at 95. So these obviously don't have anything because I'm waiting to finish one of the other ones to start this one. Alright, what am I missing? Alright, let's go. So investing, so this is what I do for, oh, let's do Koala Savings. So that's my little son's savings account that I started. I only put like, I started off with putting $2 a week. I bumped it up a little bit, but it's still only, so it's $52 there. Investing, I've started micro investing. I only put $10 a week or when I can afford it, um, just so that I can get an idea of how the market works. Now I have invested $291.43. So I, I, I received dividend of $1.43 of one of the stocks I own. And so I put that back in. But because of how the stock market is, my uh, portfolio is only worth 25974, which is not too bad considering I have have invested 291. It will pick up eventually. And this is like, that's why I started off with $10 a week so that, you know, I get into the habit, okay, I've invested this money, now let it go. At least that's, I'm trying to train my thought process. Uh, 100 envelope challenge is, um, this one here. What I've done is I've counted all the ones that I have done and i because i was concentrating on the bills buffer and getting that higher this kind of took a bit of a step back but that's fine it still went up a little bit i i did um put in as much as i could oh see my 4k challenge is the one month ahead silly me i've already put that figure there um the online bills buffer all right do we want to know what the final amount is yes we do so it's two nine four five. That amount alone has made me super, super, super happy because that is what I was trying to get to. Or oh, actually, I like I was trying to get to three thousand, but I'll take that <laughs> because if I I just did a quick tally of what my July bills, the reoccurring bills, will be like. Um, so that's got life insurance, um, car insurance, medical insurance, roadside assist, a um, couple of the charities that we participate in, um, the church giving, electricity, the gym memberships, daycare is my biggest. And that is even, so the daycare have put a higher amount in there because we're still waiting on the Centrelink or the, the government re bait letter to come through as to how much we owe them for this financial year uh, because in Australia uh, Ju June 30th of June is the end of financial year for us um, so we should be getting a letter soon as to what our increase would be in daycare fees uh, because my salary has gone up 
for to the for the next financial year. All right, so the total I need for next month is two eight nine eight at this stage, uh, and I'm at two nine four five. So that means technically, my month for July bills are taken care of. That. <laughs> That is what I was working towards. Sorry, I rambled a bit much, but that is what I was working towards. That was my goal for the month. It has been my goal for the quarter to work. And I've been putting extra money into the bills accounts. That's why a lot of things took a step back. But let's see how we ended. Uh, maybe if I move these things, can you see the whole sheet? <coughs> Scary. All right, now we all know that I am hopeless, even with a calculator, at this part. But I will do my level best. talking i'm going to concentrate and try and get this done in the first go itself i feel super confident that i've done it what is the total i'm just scared to look wow are you serious thank you jesus <laughs> I are you, are you, is everyone seeing this? Can everyone see this? <sighs> How? <laughs> the binders, okay? The cash envelope system, the binders. So it makes me think that figure could have been a whole lot better if i was not relying on the bills buffer for those two weeks that i didn't do any cash stuffing because your girl did shopping that she shouldn't have done and spent money that she shouldn't have and it would have been better i could have crossed the three thousand mark there but i didn't which is fine are you guys looking at this wow um so <laughs> uh uh, I'm still, I still can't get over it. <laughs> All right. Um, what if I was to then figure out so I'm sitting at 40 47.72% of my target goal of reaching 22,000. That's not bad, considering I started off very low. I had literally nothing in January. I just started the binders and the envelopes. I literally had cents in each bank account. Uh, the stress that my husband and I used to have because like daycare fees will be coming out on Monday and literally Sunday night, we're trying to see how we're going to make it work. Like, is the daycare fees going to go through? And we've had some embarrassing moments where the daycare fees has bounced back and because the money tried to get pulled from the account we don't have an overdraft on any of our accounts so it, it didn't go through and then we're having to call daycare to you know explain and apologize and ask them to redebit oh but look at this we're already a month ahead and yeah so how did we do in the quarter so in the month of april we were sitting at 4,876. In the month of May, we were sitting at $7,401. And for the month of June, we are sitting at $1,497. So if we were to 497 minus 7401, 
we made a difference of 3096 now i also know how this happened it's because i also had a golden month and that's because i got three paychecks in june versus two so that helped out immensely that was my goal to kind of use that extra paycheck to fund the bills buffer which i did and that's how i've managed to get myself one month ahead in the bills there <laughs> this is just amazing isn't it i i am so in awe of the system and if anyone had any doubts i hope um, you can see the figures here. I'm doing it live. Or, well, not live because obviously I have to put it on, <laughs> on YouTube and it won't be out the day I put it. Because for some reason, every time I do a longer video, it takes me a long time to upload it. I don't know. Maybe it's my internet. I don't know. Um, it took me a day and a half to post my last video. That's how long it took. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or if... Um, the file type is wrong. I don't know. I might have to do some research. Um, and But when I do put this out, you will see how putting small amounts, uh, doing savings challenges, and putting goals. Um, and every month just doing a different goal. So I've got this goal. So the, for the month of July, August, I am concentrating on the 100 envelope challenge. That will be my goal for the next two months in um, to see how I go. I, I, I don't expect myself to finish it uh, at this stage, but uh, I would like to get a huge chunk of it done if not finished. Uh, the other thing that is probably going to change is that I might be taking out the guitar one it looks like my husband is getting a really good deal on the guitar he wants. Um, you know, friend of a friend. And this is the beauty about it. Once you start thinking about money and where all your money is going and you're tracking it, you start to look at what deals are out there, who you can talk to about, you know, getting the best value. I noticed that, you know, for instance, I also noticed that in my gifts envelope, because everything was like the rat race, I would wait for payday to buy someone a gift that I always end up overspending because last minute I'm buying something or you know I haven't had the chance to look around I never had the money so I would have to just spend the higher amount but because I always have the money available in my gifts envelope now if I see something and I know a birthday is coming up in the month or two um, I'm able to purchase something that I see and I know that person would like but it always ends up being cheaper than what I expected. Like the other day, I was expecting to spend anywhere from fifty to one hundred dollars for this one friend, and what happened? That store had a sale. I happened to be walking past, and I saw the item, and I said like, that would be perfect, and I bought it immediately, and I was able to take the money from my gifts envelope. That's why the system does work. Um, just forward planning, I guess. All right, I'm going to sign you off here. I'm going to go and have a bit of a victory drink with my husband. Drink of choice here is Pepsi Max. Um, and we're going to watch some Netflix and enjoy our weekend coming up. I have been at home for the past week. I did go to work one day, but the rest of the days I have been at home with my sick child. But wow, this is great. I am so excited. This, look at this. I may not be there. I, you know, you would think that by the end of June, I should have been at 50%. But you know what? This is our win. Woohoo. All right. I gotta go. <laughs> I am making a fool of myself here. But, you know, that's why I guess some of you would love me for it. And some of you might think, oh, she's a little kooky. But anyway, everyone, I want everyone to look after yourselves. Be kind to yourself. Kind to one another. And you know what? I, till the next video, guys. Take care. Bye. Thank you.